What's cracking, everybody? It is uh, November 23rd. November 23rd, Friday. Uh, and uh, this is Pack Therapy, and we got a couple more retail breaks for you today. We're going to do one uh, Prism Rack Pack, and then we're also going to do one Prism Premium Retail Box. These Prism Rack Packs are cool. They got the... Uh, it's been coming commonly referred to as the barbershop cards in it, the red, white, and blue uh, this year. One of the cool ones I, I dig a lot. I like them. Yeah, Jeremy was able to pull this out of one of these packs. I'm hoping for a little bit of uh, uh, autograph love in here. And then uh, he also picked up the Panini Prism Target Exclusive Premium Pack. Um, this one should be fun. I watched uh, Packers Cards 87 pull a um, pink Saquon Auto out of this. I'm jealous. Uh, but... I'm going to go ahead and get started with the red, white, and blue hanger pack and see what we get. And, uh, yeah. Get some of that too, uh, one of the freaking barber autos out of there. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. All right. Vontaze Ber Perfect. Vontaze Perfect. Perfect. Vontaze Perfect. Sean Hamilton and Dion Lewis. Alright. Not Neon. Not Neon. Oh, I see a green parallel. Let's see Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen. Jadavion Clowney. And bam. Flacco. Eh. Flacco. Yeah. Derrick Henry. Damn Ravens. <laughs> All right. Poyer. Jones. Instant impact. Oh, Chubb. Nice. Yeah, not bad. There. All right. Let's see what we get out of our lovely red, white, and blue barber shop. All right, James White, Saquem Griffin, and Will Fuller. Eh, nothing special out of it. Fun pack to open. I'm digging his story. I'm digging these. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm. I'm not sure if I'm sold on them yet, but because I'm putting the prism set together, I'll I'll, I'll chase a few of these. But uh, yeah, you can see that red, white, and blue barber shop pole over here on each side. It's kind of fun, but. Uh, that does it for my pack. I'm gonna head and hand it over to Jeremy here and see what we can pull. Yeah, that one's cool. I'm digging those. That's cool. Let's see, what do we got going on this weekend? I see um, San Francisco's back from their bye this week, so I get to see good old uh, Nick Mullins play again. That was, <laughs> it's like, that's how bad the NFL rules are nowadays, that they can pull a guy who didn't even get drafted, who's been on a practice squad for two years, and he can come in and play in this league. It's kind of sad, really. Yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? just doesn't seem right. Everything's been going crazy now. The score is like, what was that? That Kansas City uh, LA game was like 54 to 51, I think was the yeah, final. God, man. Nate Beasley scores. The averages are, are 50 points plus per game. Uh, per game, man. And they got all these new no landing on the quarterback rules and stuff. And so like, that's fucking ridiculous, man. It's, it's football. Not anymore. They, they, eventually, they're going to be running around with flags behind them, and they're just going to pull those. <laughs> Outer Puff NFL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a stand-up comic that does a, does a bit where he talks about, I think it might have been Dennis Leary, because I want my athletes to be on steroids. I want to see them go out there and rip their heads off. Carnage. That's what we're paying them for anyway, right? So, anyway, let's see what we can get out of this premium pack. Well, let's hope something decent, decent here, huh? All right, we'll just do it like we do before since there's more than one hit in this stuff. We won't try and find the ones that guaranteed the jersey or whatnot. So we got a Jeremy Hill. There's your pink parallel at the gate. Matthew Stafford. Mariota. Mariota, not bad. Not bad. Oh. Uh, 
I probably should have my glasses on for this. <laughs> I can't see very well. Getting old. I have no idea where my glasses are. There they are. Yay. All right, now I can see. And I can actually read what the hell I'm opening. <laughs> Alright, we got Le'Veon Bell. Another pink parallel. Yeah. Julio. Fuller. Will Fuller. Yeah, I kind of like the pinks, alright. They're not bad. Mason Rudolph rookie. I'll definitely take that. As well as, uh, where'd the other one go? Yeah, I pulled the other Fuller. Oh, I was looking for the other rookie card down there. Oh. There we go, and there's our first kid reporter. About opening as easy as it could be. All right, Todd Gurley, Dan Bailey. Are you uh, guaranteed three. Kalen Bellage. I don't know. I don't know what the guarantee on the parallels are. Oh, possible pink auto and uh, end cards. Yeah. Uh, Christian Kirk rookie introductions. Not bad. I like the introductions with their little silhouette at the top left there. This is going to be our auto, I believe. Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack. Eric Berry. Uh, Danny Etling. Who the hell is yeah, that? Uh, still a cool card, though. Pink auto. I have no idea who that I is. I have though. no idea who Danny Etling is. A quarterback. Is he wearing 38? A quarterback with the number 38. That... Is confusing as hell. <laughs> John Kelly rookie and Kid Reporter. Alright, last, right, last pack. Card, yeah, it fits better than the rest of them, so I'm assuming it is. Samaje P. Ryan. Jordan, Jordan Howard. Mike White rookie. And. Oh, nice. Oh, Nick Chubb. Chubb. Nice. Cool. I like that. This little Nick Chubb paint. Not bad. At least I got a decent player on this. I wish I was putting an auto. Was it the Absolute I pulled that dual mem out of? Yeah, that was the Absolute Blaster. Okay, it was a cool card, man. Yeah, that was. That was a nice card. All right, well, that's that. Not bad. Nice quick uh, video for you guys. Well, quick, eight minutes. <laughs> that's not bad. That's a relatively short one. We start doing some of the hobby boxes if uh, uh, in the future here. Um, they'll take probably around you know 15 minutes or so. So those ain't bad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, next time we do some better pools. Not bad, though. I still love the prism. Oh, I'm it's, digging the prism, man. Like I said, I'm going to build the set. So As long as Topps Chrome's products or Chrome's products won't be in the market anymore, it's obviously the only place to go to for that style. And I've been a big fan of the Chrome for years. Um, ever since they dropped the finest set, I think it was my favorite. It had that Chrome technology on it. But, yep. Thank you, Pinini, for screwing everybody. We appreciate that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have right, a good one. Take care.